Good morning, uh, dear students. Uh, you are welcome for the one more video presentation of uh, corporate accounting of third semester BCom, Bangalore North University. And here we are actually dealing with evaluation of goodwill. Let me present you today's uh, uh, on the screen so that it would not be wasting the time. So for us or for me or for you, what is very important. Let us see, this is illustration number 19. When I come to class, I just want to see each one should have copied, understood, if the questions are asked, we are able to answer. So make sure that each and every second is being used for the purpose of constructive way of uh, learning, right? Yeah. The following is the balance sheet of excellent traders, a concern owned by Rom as at 31st March 2022. So here I would want to remind the pen and the notes is compulsory. Listen, write, practice, understand. Each and every sum is different. So differences you have to note. We're dealing with super profits method. So remember, right? The balance sheet is given. Once the balance sheet is given, it is implied that you need to calculate average capital employed, right? How do you calculate? If the balance sheet is given, you always follow assets approach, right? Assets approach. What do you mean by assets here? Okay. So here, whatever the right hand side, here you look at, it is assets and liabilities side. Uh, means left hand side, liabilities. From the total market value of assets, see, market value of assets. What do you mean by market value? See, so here, fixed assets 1 lakh 80, current assets 2 lakh 44, investments in shares 60,000. <clears> then total is 4 lakh 84,080. But unfortunately, this investment in shares should not be taken as the asset. Okay? Got it, my point? Then you would consider 1 lakh 80 and 2 lakh 44,080 both as assets, right? So you would get them total. And this, this amount is known as book value, okay? Balance sheet value, okay? Here in the adjustments, if they state the different values, then those values would be known as market value. Here it is not there. In the previous sum, it was there, okay? Yeah, see? In the previous sum, for example, the 18th sum, correct? See, what the fixed assets, less depreciation and investments, current assets, 4 lakh was given. And here in the balance sheet, the current assets are to be taken at 4 lakh 20,000. This is the market value, okay? So we considered here, see, fixed assets, same balance sheet and current assets, 4 lakh 20,000, understood? So here, in this 19th sum, this has not been asked. So you should be worried, you should be thinking and solving, right? So now let us see creditors 76,080, capital and 328,000, and reserves 80,000. See, capital and reserves are liabilities which goes to the shareholders, right? Who? The shareholders, right? So, hence, <clears throat> so if suppose average capital employed, if it is to be calculated, we should add fixed assets, current assets, minus creditors. So, you have to remember. Then, the following net profits are given. See, a yeah, fixed income from investments of 4,000 per annum is expected. See? So, here, investment in shares, right? So, this one minute, I'll erase. I will erase so that you will not 
get any kind of confusion. Okay, I have erased. So this is what the way in which you should be understanding. <coughs> now see, investments 60,000, right? This investment is producing, right? 4,000 rupees income. So this will not appear henceforth. This is to be subtracted from the average profits. So year ended 31st March 19, 20, 21, 22, 64,000, 72, 86, 90. Correct? These are all the profits which are given. Standard rate of return on capital employed in such type of business, 8%. This is normal rate of return, which is essential. You know that. <clears throat> Compute the amount of goodwill on the basis of Three years purchase, see, three years purchase of the average profits of for four years, assuming that each year's profit was immediately withdrawn in full by the proprietor. Let him withdraw or not to withdraw. This is just they want to confuse you. That's it. Okay. What is the, the method there was four years purchase of the Profits, <clears throat> four years purchase of the profit. So that means the average, the average super profits for four years, very important, right? That means super profits into four is the goodwill for us, correct? Let us see. No further adjustment. 64, 70. <clears throat> now, these were the what profits are given. There is a common sense for us. When the profits are increasing tendency, see, 64, 72, 86, 90. Correct? That means increasing. We need to follow weighted average profit method. Calculation of average profits. Average profit means weighted average profit. That they have not said. So we need to calculate 1, 2, 3, and 4. Correct? These are all the weights which are given. These are the profits 64, 72, 86 and 90. Multiplication of by 1 times 64,000, 2 times 144, 3 times 258, 4 times 360,000. Total weights 10, total product 826,000. The weighted average profit. So, total product divided by total weights. So, 82,600 rupees. Now, second step. Calculation of adjusted average profit. This is average profit. Correct. Now, adjusted average profit. One, uh, uh, one adjustment was there. 4,000 rupees income from investment subtracted. So, then you get 78,600. Now, calculation of average capital. And as I have said, you balance sheet is given. So, fixed is 180,000. Current is 244,080, total 4,24,080, less liabilities, credit are 76,080, then closing capital employed, 348,000, less half of the current year profit. So, how do you get last year profit 90,000, correct? Minus 4,000, what is this? Interest. So, you get 86,000 divided by 3, 43,000. Then the balance is known as average capital employed, right? So 3,48 minus 43, 3,85,000. Uh, <coughs> normal profit. How do you get average capital employed into normal rate of return? 3,5,000 into 8%. So 24,400. What is a super profit? Super profit is adjusted average profit minus normal profit, correct? So here, 78,600 minus 24,400, 54,200 is the super profit, extra profit. So how many years purchase? Three years purchase. So goodwill is equal to super profits into three years. Number of years of purchase, 54,200 into three, 162,600. Okay. So multiply by three times. This is what the homework. Homework. Okay. Do this. 
I hope you have understood. We should be here. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Now come to the point. Uh, what I want to show, one minute. Uh, your performance is to be shown, right? I had been uh, saying so many times. Oh, you, okay. Yes, it's all right. Uh, how many times I have reminded, number one, feedback. Number two, complete video you need to watch. Number three, share. Okay, subscribe. And the previous videos, just check, day, day before, less than 100 people have watched from C-section and D-section. What does it mean? So, uh, yeah, when I come to the class, then I will discuss about this more. This is Suresh Babu MG from Government for Safe College, Bavarit Road. Thank you. Make note of it. And please send the feedback to my email ID, sur6980 at gmail.com. Thank you.